Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise and for the love of puzzles, I'm going to attempt my first circle build. I've never done a circle puzzle before. This one is from Waddington's Circle Puzzle 500 Pieces Deluxe. The name of the artwork is called Big Cats and the artist is John Francis. What I do enjoy is that on the back of the box, I'm not sure if that comes across well on camera, but it's the same image as the front, but all the cats are numbered, and then down below actually tells you which big cat it is. So like the center one is a tiger, and then you have the black panther and the puma and whatnot. So I really enjoyed that. Now, I don't know what to expect. I'm hoping that one, that the border pieces have this red edge around them. If so, it might be easier, obviously, to pick out the red border pieces to help me out. Two, are the pieces like regular kind of standard shape puzzle pieces? That's what I'm thinking and that maybe just the border pieces are cut wonky donkey or is it actually all, you know, irregular shaped pieces in this puzzle? I don't know. Um, I do wonder if I'll enjoy it because it's more of an older puzzle so the image is a bit less bright and brilliant, I guess, compared to today's puzzles. Um, yeah, I don't know what to expect. So for the love of puzzles, let's just start building this circle. I sorted all the pieces off camera. I took a bit of time, maybe 25 minutes, because I was really trying to figure out where the edge pieces were. The red does not appear on the puzzle pieces and the puzzle pieces are irregular shapes. So if you look here, here's what I believe to be an edge piece. No red, fine. That one is pretty obviously an edge piece to me, I believe. But is this one? I don't know if it is because actually I don't think it is because now looking at that piece, it's not completely flat. I believe that should go in that pile. So I know that my count on edge pieces is going to be off. I most likely am missing pieces that are in other piles and I have probably pieces in there that belong in other piles as well. The other thing is, it is wonky donkey shapes. Look at this, not standard puzzle pieces shapes. They are all kooky cuts, interesting. I thought maybe it would be more of a standard piece shape puzzle and just have the border cut funky, but no, this is going to be a nice challenge, a difficult one, but a nice one. Oh, so here I go from not doing any crazy shape puzzles to doing two in a very short time. Maybe I've learned something from that other puzzle. I basically did what I thought were edge pieces, the big cats that didn't have any special markings, the big cats with special markings, and then everything else like the grass and the sky. Pieces I believe don't have any cats on them at all. I'm going to start with the border. Then I'll do these cats that don't have special markings and then I'll do the special marking cats, which I'll probably definitely have to subsort because there's quite a few in there. So I did take my time because every piece that I thought was an edge, I kept trying to feel the edge and go, oh yeah, it's smooth. I think that's an edge piece. So about 25 minutes so far just in sorting, not bad. I maybe could have done it faster and I would probably be able to do it faster in subsequent circle puzzles. But yeah, there you go, sorting done, ready to build. So for the love of puzzles, let's get to these big cats.
I took about 20 minutes and I decided to subsort the big cats with the special markings on them. I thought it would be a lot easier then. So I've made various piles of the different cats. These two are two cats combined together on the box. It's these two right here because their markings are very similar. So I just decided to pull them together. Now, um, what was I gonna say? I found finally, I was missing this little piece here for that guy. And then also I think this is a border piece for the tail. Yep. Oop. And then finally I think this piece is the ear that goes over here on this kitty cat. Yes, there you go. Now, the pieces are quite thin. It is an older puzzle, so they're very thin. I'm not sure if that comes across on camera. They're very thin. And because it is a crazy shaped puzzle, it doesn't hold very well together. So I'm not even gonna try the flip test because I don't think it would pass. Now, what I did like is the sorting when I'm doing the puzzle. It's nice because you can just rotate the box and you're still in view. The only one that ends up being somewhat upside down or on the side is the big tiger in the middle. But I'm enjoying it very much so far and I think subsorting out the big cats will make it a lot easier and I'll just work one to another. There's a few extra pieces here. I wasn't sure where they went. That's fine. And I probably have some pieces mixed up but I'll just move them around. I don't think it'll take me much longer to do. I think I'm at an advantage because I've already done a crazy shaped puzzle, so I have an idea of, you know, pieces just not like this one right here. I'm not sure if you can see, it's just sitting there. It's not locked in and how they curve around the prongs of, uh, you know, the prongs of some pieces. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's fun. I think I'm doing well. I don't think I'll need much more time to finish it. My question to you is, do you enjoy circle puzzles? Um, do you enjoy crazy shape ones? Or I believe there's also some that are spirals. What brands would you recommend I try? I definitely want to do a modern one. I believe there's I'm going to mispronounce this. Is it Ebo? It's lowercase e, e, capital B, O, O. I believe they do circle puzzles and um, I thought I might try to source some of them. But leave your comments below on circle puzzles and brands. And for the love of puzzles, let's keep building some big cats.
was so much fun. I really, really enjoyed it. For my first circle puzzle, I loved it. I, I must admit, I'm glad that I had already done a crazy shaped puzzle so I didn't feel too overwhelmed with the pieces. Even though it's a vintage-ish puzzle, um, I still really enjoyed the image. The colors are maybe not as bold and bright as modern day puzzles, but that's fine. I really love this puzzle. I enjoyed every minute of doing it. I definitely want to do more circle puzzles. So please leave your comments below. Let me know of what brands I should check out for circle puzzles. Do you enjoy doing circle puzzles? Let me know. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao!